back to another fantastic episode of Minecraft Story Mode. So let's go with the last episode. Episode 5. Order up, they call it. <laughs> okay. It's the middle of the night. Aw, kitty cats. Wait, are those really cats? Another tiger. What? Who the hell is that? Oh. It's me! Points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. I thought maybe you'd have, like, a cool motivational thing to say there, yeah. but... That's cool. That's cool. It's a cool room and all, but I was hoping for treasure, personally. <laughs> Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Well, I found a lever. Okay. I know what to do, I know what to do. And another lever. There we go. Cut. Blocked again. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so let's try the different tactic. Now I'm gonna go to the other side and try the other one. Hey, 
Olivia. Yeah? Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Good. Stop. Never mind. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your oh, guy. Oh, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. Ah, my old br friend. The lever. Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. Okay. I'm going to keep trying to solve this. Yeah, right. Well, at least one, this one is still open. disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. Yeah, I know what you mean. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No? Then who was it that was yelling? <sighs> yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We've packed a lot in since then. Sure did. And to think... That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Eggeran, reunited the border. So crazy. Bingo! Alright, let's see what we've got. Okay. Test number one. Uh. Hey! It's a cake! Ah, oh, man! You got cake? It's just... I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man! Thank you! Hmm. A pumpkin. Not bad. That could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's. What the hell? What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I 
I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow... is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Okay, not probably not this. Whoa! Well, I have definitely never seen a flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Olivia! Wrap the redstone wrap! Nearly there. Okay, activate it. Now! <laughs> Seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip. Obviously. Oh, come on. It was my idea. Let's do the grief for grab. Olivia! Wrap the redstone wrap! Nearly there. Okay, activate. <laughs> Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. What about Whoa, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. How about we get out of here? Ugh, all these mobs, where does it end? What? Tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. 
Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure? Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm way ahead of you on that one, Axel. I'm guessing something bad about that. Whoa! Whoa! Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aiden and the Pussycats. <laughs> That's not our name. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Don't do it again. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero, which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. Oh, shut up. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Please, Rod. There's no shame in being second-rate, Aiden. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. Ha! <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Some hero you are, Jesse. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Hey, Blaze Rods! I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. You better. I don't remember him being that angry before. Okay, I'm officially starting to get a bad feeling about Aiden. Threatening people, scary enchantments on his sword. I hope he doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out. Sure do. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Damn, this temple is kind of creepy. Um, this Finally is starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Just something to think about. Yeah, I guess. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yeah? New Order of the 
Stone is back in town. adventure full of monsters, hidden temples, treasure. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Ah! You guys are awesome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. See that? Jesse high-fived me. Me. It actually hurt a little bit. Happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Uh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So I suppose we're even. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own. With loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ugh. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... they've got... community planning. Blech! Uh... uh... Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house, and we need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Look, my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Actually, I was hoping you could help me with something. We found something out in the jungle. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! What the hell? Well... If we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand, and you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Sounds good. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. This place is really shaping up. Whoa! Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas! Great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. Yeah. We have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. 
Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? Just gonna end this part here, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.